Hi guys and ladies. I was watching an episode of America's Test Kitchen with that bow tied nice guy, Christopher Kimball, and they made a roasted rack of lamb with red pepper relish. Now that made my mouth water. They're more than just professional cooks, they're food scientists. Well, I've got the recipe, and I wonder if I could come even close to matching what they did. Here I'm chopping a half cup of roasted red peppers. Let's put our red pepper and parsley together. I'm adding a quarter cup of olive oil, a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. Now here's an eighth teaspoon of crushed garlic, a little salt, and some pepper. Let's give this a good mix. Well, this looks pretty good, and all I have to do now is set it aside for at least an hour at room temperature. Okay, I went all out this time. I really splurged on these two small racks of lamb, and based on their size, I think they're from New Zealand. Well, let's first heat up our oven. Based on science, we're gonna cook these at a very low temperature, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, for maximum juiciness. So here I'm just scoring the fat. I don't want to dig too deeply, and I'm going to do a cross-hatch pattern. So in this little bowl, I'm adding two tablespoons of kosher salt. Now here's a teaspoon of cumin. Now each of these racks gets one half teaspoon of the seasoning, all sides. Now I'll save the rest of this seasoned salt for the table. Okay, I've just lined this baking sheet with foil, and now I've got a rack on it. And on the rack goes a rack, a rack of lamb on the rack. Well, I'm going to pop our little lost lambs in the oven for about an hour. You see, I'm looking for an internal temperature of 130 degrees. That's for medium doneness. And I'll check after about 50 minutes. While our lammies are in the oven, let's saute some asparagus. First thing I'm going to do is put in a half stick of butter. I've got our skillet on medium, medium high. And while the butter is melting, I'm going to pour in two tablespoons of olive oil. Next thing, one teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. In here, I've got one and a half teaspoons of chopped garlic, finely chopped, diced. You only want this garlic to cook for like a minute. Wow, the fragrance. Woo! Here goes, asparagus. Oh, they're looking really nice and tender, and the fragrance, oh. I've got some fresh grated parmesan, or parmesan. So I'm going to add some, some of this, like, oh, I don't know, four tablespoons. This is not in the recipe, but why not? My buddies are ready. Let's get them out of the skillet. I just tasted a little bit of it and wow, it's yummo. I'm so glad I thought to add the parmigiano to it. Remember our leftover cumin salt? Let's put it in this shaker. That way we can apply it more evenly. While our lamb racks are finishing up in the oven, I have to tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over for dinner with me. Well, we've been seeing each other for 50 years. And I think I hit on why she's never expressed a desire to marry me. She perceives me as poor. <laughs> well, this meal might impress her just a bit. 
Yes, I borrowed the money from my nephew for the lamb, but she doesn't need to know. Still, I, I need to impress her even more. Ah, there it is. It's been 50 minutes. I have no idea if it's even close to the temperature we're trying to get. Let's see. Oh, this is done. This is 132. We're done. We're done. 50 minutes. Yes, that's all it took. Wow. Now that our racks of lamb are cooked perfectly, we're going to flash sear the outside surface to enhance the flavor and appearance. I'm putting the skillet on high heat, and all I'm going to do is pour about a teaspoon of peanut oil in this skillet. That oil is just about smoking. Let's just start searing. Fat side down, bone side up. About one and a half to two minutes, but we want to get at least two sides seared. Now the bottom side. That's about it, and it's nicely browned. Now the other one. You should maybe drain some of the oil off if it looks like uh, it's more than it was. I think it's fine though. One and a half to two minutes more. It's been two minutes. This is coming off. Looks good. So now we're tenting. And we're going to let it rest for 20 minutes. Time to try to carve. Let's see if we can go between the bones. I forget what they call it, but there's a hinge bone for all the ribs. Look at that meat though. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Mmm, juicy. Remember our cumin salt? Well, these things look so good. I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny bit on the top of each piece. Well, here we are once again with a famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for honoring me and coming to my humble abode. You're welcome. And you had a chance to dine on my roasted rack of lamb with roasted red pepper relish and asparagus with oh. Parmesan. What did you think? It was wonderful. I enjoyed every bit of it. Really? I, of course, you know, each thing was different. I loved the uh, lamb. I like lamb anyway. And the asparagus was mm. delicious, and, and the mm. relish, oh, mm, thank unbelievable. You. Thank you so much. That was one of my better uh, yes. cooking episodes. Yes. yes. Uh, you know, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can say Lulu. Sure. Uh, uh, I'm getting pretty old, and when my time comes, do you know who will take over my apartments along the lakefront? Who will take my riverfront office buildings? Or... Who will take my condos in the heights? Mm, there you go again, bragging about your paper route. Mm. Well, um, uh, can, can I have a hug?